Hey guys, it's time for the journey to infinity perfection comparison. We're looking back at the history of one of the most popular phone series in the world, the Galaxy S. It's been nine generations. A lot has changed since the first Galaxy S phone was announced. So in this video, we take a full throwback and appreciate how far Samsung has come in terms of innovation, camera design, and performance. Guys, looking at these old phones, using them again for a while, made me realize that we take a lot of things for granted. We complain about the fingerprint scanner being too close to the camera. We complain about the gloss back, whereas back in the days, there was no fingerprint scanner. The only way to secure the phone was with the software methods, which were definitely not a reliable option. Now, not only we have the fingerprint scanner, but also the face unlock slash iris scanner and combination of both, which is the intelligent scanning. The absolute blessing of them all is the ability to do a fast charging. Nowadays, we can charge our phones in like an hour, but these old generation takes ages to charge. The cameras are improved so much. If I showed you this picture like four years ago and told you it was captured on a phone, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't believe me. Smartphone cameras have become the most important tool, which is why we mostly capture photos from our phones. And over the years, Samsung has made a huge progress in the camera department. The Galaxy S9 is the first phone that has a variable aperture ability. It also has a record-breaking f1.5 aperture. And compared to the older generation, you can see the image quality difference is insane. It takes stunning photos in low light, the sharpness and everything is absolute on point and the front camera quality has also improved over the generations uh, but still this is where I want Samsung to improve even further. Design wise Samsung has definitely changed a lot compared to Apple. If you look at Samsung's journey you can see there is a huge difference. Starting with the first Galaxy S phone we had the introduction of a new design uh, that was modified on the Galaxy S2 with the introduction of a home button then the S3 which was designed for humans came and that brought a new design to the table and after that a pattern similar to Apple came into existence. The S4 was a perfected version of the Galaxy S3 you know better camera better performance etc but mostly it was same as the S3. Now at this point everyone complained about the cheap plastic body we have four generations of plastic Samsung phones so it was time to change but Samsung still used a plastic design on the Galaxy S5 which is why despite having a first ever fingerprint scanner, hardware scanner, 4K recording and water resistance it was the worst Galaxy S phone. They learned their lesson and they introduced the Galaxy S6 and that has the most important design change in all of these generation which you still see on the Samsung Galaxy S9 so we have a beautiful gloss bag and aluminum on the side it looks super pretty. Premium. It was for the first time a Galaxy S phone was as premium as an iPhone. They also introduced the groundbreaking curved screen edge model. Uh, there was a sexy emerald green color, but the touch with the software was still a huge problem. Then came the Galaxy S7, which was the perfected version of the Galaxy S6 with the biggest camera change and a better edge design. And most importantly, that year Samsung introduced the Samsung Experience UI, which ended the lag problem. Then Galaxy S8 brought the end of an era, the Infinity design was born, no more flat screen S model, the S8 truly is the pinnacle of Samsung's power, the design is probably the best bezel-less execution which we can have in this age free of any notch. And now the Galaxy S9 is the perfected version of the S8. The things that were always missing on the Galaxy phones are here. We have the stereo speakers for the first time. It has a great battery, great performance, great software, smooth experience, great camera, headphone jack. It's truly the most complete phone on the market which you can buy right now which leaves the question how far Samsung can go with the next generation. Under the hood we came from a 32 nanometer Exynos 4412 processor to a freaking 10 nanometer Exynos 9810. Samsung truly made an insane progress jump with its processors. So let's do a quick performance test and see how much difference we have with the numbers and in real life. So I've launched Geekbench 4 app on all these phones, of course Geekbench 3 on the Galaxy S3 because uh, this phone doesn't support the Geekbench 4 app. So let's run the benchmarks. 
All right, we are done and look at that insane difference. We got eight times more score in multi-core uh, on the Galaxy S9 Plus compared to the Samsung Galaxy S3. Almost four times more score in the single core department. So you can see every year Samsung improved their processors, but I think the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S9 has the most change when it comes to the benchmarking score. So now let's perform a quick little real life speed test and see the difference. So first we have the Galaxy S3 up against the S9. So so here we go. Oh, look at that difference. Obviously, the S3 is running the worst of the Samsung software back in the day. So let's go into settings. Look at that huge difference. Let's let's open a game. So Subway Surfers. Look at that delay. Oh my God, my my phone actually took so much time to start the game, and the S9 is almost finished and i can start playing this is insane so much faster phones in 2018 look at that oh my god that's like almost a minute long time to load up subway servers and i'm not talking about the big games like asphalt 8 or any other so now let's do the same with the samsung galaxy s4 so phone dialer Wow. Settings. Huge difference there. And now let's open a game which is Subway Surfers. Okay, S4 definitely faster, much faster than Galaxy S3 in launching the game. But the loading still haven't started. And you can see the S9 is done. And we can start playing. And the S4 is still taking quite a long time. Almost a minute Maybe less than a minute, but this is such a huge time just for Subway Surfers. All right, now the Galaxy S5 against the S9 phone dialer. Settings. And let's open a game, which is Subway Surfers. So we have Snapdragon 801 inside of the S5. And let's see. The Galaxy S9 done. And S5 has started loading the game. Still taking quite some time. But much better than the S4 and the S3, so uh, probably around 25 seconds maybe, but still a huge difference there. Next we have Galaxy S6, so let's close everything again. Phone dialer, settings, and you can see the difference and the gap is slowly closing. Let's launch a game, Subway Surfers. So much faster launch time on the Galaxy S6 compared to the S4, S5, and S3. And look at that. That took like five, six seconds as ma at max. Wow. Definitely a huge improvement there. As I told you before, the gap is closing. Next, we have Galaxy S7. So phone dialer. That was really quick. I don't think we're going to see a huge difference with the S7. So let's see settings. And the main reason behind that is that S7 is, like I said, it had that biggest software change. Uh, Samsung skimmed down their UI. They removed the touch whiz and the lag part is gone. So let's open Subway Surfers. So I'm using the S7 for the game test. Uh, but you can see that S9 done and S7 is also done so final test against the samsung galaxy s8 and this is where you will see a really less dif difference probably a second dif delay there uh with the s8 let's launch this game subway surfers and okay galaxy s9 obviously is going to be faster and the S8, about two or three second delay there. So. so you can definitely see that the performance gains are huge on the Samsung Galaxy S9 compared to the S3, S4, S5, and S6. But after that, the performance difference decreases because of the introduction of Samsung Experience UI. Uh, the S7, S8 does a really good job against the S9. So TouchWiz was a problem back in the days. But with the Experience UI, things are definitely smooth.
So yeah, guys, that was the journey to infinity comparison between the full generation of Galaxy S. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you guys don't know already, I am giving away a Samsung Galaxy S9. To enter this giveaway, all you have to do is to subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, that's where I'm most active, and follow me on Twitter, that's where I'll be announcing the winner, and lastly, leave a comment below. With that being said, subscribe to this channel for latest videos, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.